Hi, and welcome to another Boom Research Technology Explanatory video. Today we're going to be comparing in form of a top three list countdown the best bang for the buck graphics cards. And this is going to be the late April 2019 Newegg slash Amazon price edition. So either Newegg or Amazon is where the price is going to be pulled from for the purposes of this video. All of these cards are new and the lowest cost from either Amazon or Newegg, depending on which card, is the one which is going to be mentioned within this video. This is planned to be a series and continued, so if you'd like to see more of these in the future, please let me know in the comments below. We'll be right back with our countdown of the best bang for the buck graphics cards as of late April 2019, right after we roll out our short video intro segment. Okay, so the way this is going to work is we're going to start from 3, then 2, then 1. So 3 being the worst bang for the buck and 1 being the best. So it's rated as good, better, and best. So only the top 3 and best value are included and we are going in reverse order. So from 3 to eventually 1. Let's start with our first graphics card, which is the GTX 1660 from NVIDIA. As of now, the cost is 219.99, and that cost is coming either from Newegg or Amazon based on which one was of better value, although I think these are pretty much the same costs if not very marginally different like coming down to the tax or something like that so all of these cards are going to be included in the video description and we are going to include wh whether we pull them from Amazon or Newegg so be sure to check out the video description if you want to know where the prices were pulled from for the purposes of this video coming in last on our list Princey's Good is the GTX 1660 this card is the most expensive and offers the least value on our list for the purposes of this video's countdown. It has 6 gigs of GDDR5 video processing memory, a core clock of 1560 megahertz, it has 1408 CUDA cores, and an effective memory clock of 8.002 GHz. This card also supports OpenGL 4.5 revision. This card was released on March 14th of 2019, which is this year if you're watching it within the year of 2019. So to say it is at least one year or more of age depending on which point you're watching this video. The way we determine the value is we took the overall benchmark score from G3D and we divided it by the cost. So in this case we're taking 10,862 dividing it by the cost which is 219.99 and that's how we get our point value which is 49.374975 points. Going on to our next card is an option from AMD and that's the AMD Radeon RX 570. Depending on your memory selection it's going to be 129.99 or 139.99. For the purposes of calculating points we took lower value the lower value is the 4 gig and the higher value of cost is going to be the 8 gig for video memory. If you can afford the extra $10 in your budget, I definitely recommend getting the 8 gig version just for future scaling and better performance on 
more long tasks such as video rendering. If you plan that to do that on the future, and that's going back to the concept of future scaling. Although if you're on really tight budget and the extra 10 is not going to be worth it for you if you're going to change your computer every so and so often years, then the choice is up to you. If you can scale your budget up $54.99 from the next card we're going to showcase, then the contestant is here, the RX 570. <coughs> the RX 570 is next on our list of best value graphics cards on the market using Newegg slash Amazon prices and comes in at number two. Princes on our scale rating is considered better. If you can afford the extra cost from the lowest cost, also best value card which we're going to show in this video, I definitely would suggest this one because it has a similar cost range to the RX 470 and offers better future scaling and overall performance in one card. This card has four gigs of GDDR5 video processing memory being double of what's available on the RX 460 and that's going to be even more if you're going with the 8 gig of GDDR5 version which I definitely agree is worth the extra $10 in this case over the 4 gig variant and which I'm also going to link both of those variants in the video description. The average G3D benchmark for this card is 6,878 and that's out of 225 samples. This car has a core clock of 1.293 gigahertz and an effective memory clock base of 7 gigahertz approximate. Supports OpenGL 4.0. Along with DirectX 12, it was released on April of 2017 which means it's around at least two years old if not more depending on which point you're watching the video within and the way which we determine the cost is we took the overall benchmark score and divided by the cost of the card so we used the 129.99 for the purposes of calculating points we took 6,878 divided it by 129.99 parentheses of cost and got 52.9117624 points. Our next card on the list coming in at number one parentheses best for price to performance in terms of value in this video comparison list. This is definitely a winner for best price to performance value. This variant of car specifically has 2 gigs of GDDR5 video processing memory. The average G3D benchmark score for this card is 4,329 and that's out of 2,290 samples. It has a core clock of 1,090 MHz and a memory clock of 1750 MHz. The thermal design power for this card is 75 watts. It supports DirectX 12.0 and OpenGL 4.5. Note that this card was released on August of 2016, so is at least two years old from the point of release or more depending on which point you are watching this video within. The way which we determine the value is we took the overall benchmark score and divided it by the cost of the card. We took 4,329 being the G3D benchmark score and the cost of the card, point C75. So we did 4,329 over 75, giving us 57.72 points. And that's the highest score of points on our list for value. So the more points it has, the better rating as in terms of value the card would get. Here's an important disclosure statement. I'm going to put all the products featured within this video in form 
of a link in the description box and note that all the products were selected for this video based on statistical information and as in terms of price to performance rating. Any advice not going off of statistical information was clearly stated and no sponsorships were made on this video or had any influence slash impact on choices of products included for the purposes of this video. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much for watching this video which is generally towards computer graphics cards. Please let me know if you want to see more of these types of videos for value cards or value processors or other computer components. Also make sure that you are subscribed to this channel for this viewing web search if you have not done so already and have your bell notifications turned on to prevent missing any of our future content uploads. The bell notification only appears to the right of the subscribe button after you have subscribed beforehand. If you have any future video suggestions pertaining to the subjects of computer software, computer hardware, technology topics explained, how technology works, or basically anything tech related, then please let me know in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next content upload. Bye!